What the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to The Wasteland in Fallout 76. This is part two of my ammo crafting series, specifically gunpowder and how to easily craft gunpowder. Um, if you didn't catch my previous video, I'll put a thing on the screen here so you can see that. That's how you get the first component of gunpowder, which is cloth. Uh, easily and then this video is about how you get the second component acid. I'm going to show you three methods by which you can easily obtain acid. Um, one of them does involve workshops so if that's not really your thing or if you just are put off by the server crashing and don't want to risk spending the caps that's perfectly fine. There are other methods in this video that you can utilize but it is an easy way and convenient way to obtain acid assuming that things don't crash on the server so I did want to include it. And as you can see gunpowder requires acid to craft so that is going to be the focus of this particular video. As I said previously, I already have a video on cloth, so if you uh, are looking to find more cloth, then uh, you can go ahead and check out that video and that should help you out a bit. I do also have another video on steel and lead that you can check out if you're just looking for those components in order to craft ammo easily. Alright, introduction's over, let's jump right into it. So the first easy way you can obtain acid is to just hold down a workshop that has acid nodes at it to where you can just put resource collectors on them and collect acid that way passively as you just go about your business questing or looting or whatever it is you might be doing on the server at that time. This one is Hemlock Maintenance. It's just located to the west of the Waverly Park up north in the Toxic Valley, but you don't have to use this one. There are other workshops that have acid that you can farm. This one just happens to have a total of three acid nodes, which just makes it one of the better locations because it has three acid nodes, not just one or two. So you're just you're getting more acid per hour than you would at another workstation And this is what the acid deposit actually looks like This is what you need to put your resource collectors on and that leads me to the second method of obtaining acid Scattered about West Virginia are acid nodes just randomly placed throughout the world And if you locate one of these you can build your base your camp next to it uh, And then you can actually place your own resource collector on it and that allows you to use the the resource collector to obtain acid without having to pay the money for a workshop and that way if the server crashes you're not out of luck with your caps you can simply join a new world and the resource collector in your camp will still be there this is one location that I personally know of and I'm including in the description of this video a link to a map that someone else has created of not just acid, but all the various resource nodes, uh, deposits uh, around the map that you can take a look at. And if you go to one acid deposit and you find it's already taken, all you have to do is look at the map and then find another acid deposit that isn't taken and make your camp there. And the next method is my personal favorite. This one involves just farming certain locations that spawn creatures consistently. Uh, creatures that drop waste acid in its raw form that you can just farm off of them. I'm giving you two locations here, but this is by no means exclusive. I'm sure you've come across many locations that have certain creatures that seem to spawn consistently. If that's the case, go back to those locations. You can farm those just as easily as this one. The first spot is located here in downtown Charleston. You can see the Capitol building there in the background. What I like about this one is it's very close to Vault 76, relatively speaking, and easy to get to early in game. Here by the bridge, there's a Snallygaster that always spawns here, at least in my experience, it always spawns here. Whenever I've hopped servers, he's, he's there again. And Snallygasters drop acid, so all you have to do is spawn in, run over to the bottom of this bridge here, kill the Snallygaster, take the acid, anything else you might want on him, quit, hop servers, rinse, and repeat. I used this method when I was making this video and hop servers probably about four or five times in less than five minutes and was able to get about six to eight acid per trip so you can see easily how you could accumulate a crap ton of acid without much effort or that much time. Here's the exact location of this bridge just in case you were a little bit unclear as to where exactly in the downtown Charleston area this is located at. And finally, the second spot is at the Dolly Sods Wilderness, located here on the map. It's uh, north of the Cranberry Bog area and kind of east of the Savage Divide and northeast of the top of the world. At this place, when you spawn in, you will find at least one Yalgwai, sometimes two, just kind of depends. I haven't found any sort of consistency with it. Yalgwai, just like Snallygasters, also drop acid in its raw form. So you can farm any location that you found. Yalgwai seem to spawn consistently, like here at the Dali Sods Wilderness. As an added bonus, Yalgwai also drops springs. So that's really helpful too. As you're farming for acid, you can also farm for springs. 
And just like before with the Snallygaster, all you gotta do is spawn in, kill the Yalgwai, collect the materials, quit out, join a new server, and rinse and repeat. And you can accumulate a lot of acid by doing this in a very short amount of time. That's why this method is personally my favorite versus the others. But if you're someone that doesn't like to or doesn't want to server hop, then this would not be the method for you. Something like a workshop or building your camp next to an acid deposit is gonna be more up your alley. And for the non-server hoppers who might be seeing this video, another kind of honorable mention is the Vault Tech Agricultural Facility located near Flatwoods. You can find acid located in this area. There's not a whole lot, but it is a source of just raw acid in bottle forms. And you can also find bags of chlorine in wheelbarrows outside, and those will also give you acid as well. So again, if you're looking for ways to get acid without server hopping, you just want to find as many locations on the map as you can that you can hit all at once, one after the other, to get acid acid this is an honorable mention all right that's going to wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos that will be coming your way here in the new future more guides and such and fallout 76 i'm also going to be coming out with a new video about steel and lead more locations you can farm because my first video has done very well and some people have asked for more locations because the locations i gave are apparently drying up as i said i will put the map of the resource deposits down in the description of the video below down there you can also find my Twitter handle. Go ahead and follow me if you're looking for updates on when videos will be coming out, what types of videos will be coming out, and if you want input as to what type of content I'll be producing. Again, thank you so much for your support, and I will see you in the next installment.